And then that got me thinking randomly. That got me thinking randomly. What's happened to Terry Richardson? We haven't heard from Terry Richardson in ages, isn't it? Right? The famed flipping um, fashion photographer who was most, I'd say, famous for his work with American Apparel, although he did plenty of other stuff um, as well. A lot of the things I kind of remember him for was some of the great stuff he did, actually, that kind of goes under the radar, I feel like, was some of the stuff that he did with um, Vogue Paris during the time when Emanuela Alt was the what you call it um editor-in-chief and of course you know Paris, i think vogue paris is gone or something is it gone or is it a new team or is it vogue france i think it's vogue france now but anyway the 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 long established vogue paris that's now kind of defunct and turned to vogue france i'm not mistaken emmanuel alt was the editor-in-chief there and even maybe with anna winter maybe with karen karen Royford also but i do remember terry richardson doing a lot of really good work in that magazine and that's where i really found out oh cut he's an actual legitimate photographer who maybe dabbled in all that kind of you know super overexposed flashy type of photography for american apparel but what he's actually creative and amazing at was what he images he able to create in his editorials for vogue paris but of course you know he went through that crazy um cancelling thing that happened to him i think he might be one of the first people within the arts that kind of happened to it maybe during me too happened as well and the stories of course around terry richardson were horrible you can only imagine well based on the pictures that he was taking how handy and how you know rapey maybe he was and abusing he was of course the look of the guy doesn't necessarily help and i googled i thought hey what's happened to him and then the first thing that popped up on new york post was this article it says disgraced fashion photographer terry richardson sells his new york city firehouse because so far, I've not heard a single peep about him in the scene or in the industry. But I do know a lot of these photographers, from what I've heard in the industry, in fashion in general, a lot of them, most of their bread and butter comes from working from very big commercial projects or commercial campaigns. So, you know, stuff with IBM, Dell, H&M, Zara, you know whatever all that sort of stuff is what actually pays the bills and then you do the fun editorial stuff with like id and the face and whatever else magazine out there for fun and to kind of flex your artistic and creative and image making abilities but what actually pays the bill day to day will be the big stuff so maybe he is doing the big stuff with the zaras and the ibms and whatnot behind the scenes and the mercedes and whatnot and we don't really know about it but he's kind of quiet he's kind of been off the radar for the most part i don't really see him anyway he doesn't necessarily go to parties anymore he used to hang around with oliver zam the flipping co-founder or the founder of sorry purple magazine i don't see him out and about there you don't really see him out of fashion weeks like he's completely disappeared from the from the limelight completely and he was one of the you know f more famous fashion photographers around during that time but anyways continue it says disgraced fashion photographer Terry Richardson accused of sexual assault, harassment, and exploitation. God damn it! That's a that's a free pronged, um, nasty list of flipping accusations, isn't it? But multiple young models over the decades has sold his home, the firehouse in Soho on Lafayette Street, for about five point five million. The twenty foot wide. 2,800 square foot landmarked renovated firehouse comes with a striking fire red engine Lacard spiral staircase. The three story home was built in 1887 for the FDNY engine company number 55. The brick exterior features terracotta rosettes and stone conic flanked with cast iron pillars topped with a non too subtle flame essence. Inside the residency features one bedroom and two bathrooms. I wonder if this was the place where he did the photography of people stand behind the wall or the white wall the famous ones with Rihanna and all these other models and stuff I wonder if that is the same place where he did it because it kind of looks familiar doesn't it right that that kind of facade and it continues Richardson known for his often hypersexualized campaigns for designers like Marc Jacobs Tom Ford and Yves Saint Laurent is the son of late successful but troubled fashion photographer Bob Richardson in 2017 Codnes act younger Richardson following sexual assault and harassment accusations at the time he said in a statement provided by the rep he is an artist who is best known for his sexuality explicit work um, so many of his personal attraction with subjects were sexual and explicit in nature but all subjects of his work participated consensually of course you'd say that um, Richardson bought this property 3.3 million in 2009 um it was the last on the market asking for a rental of 20 people who, who's paying that amount of rent a month Twenty five thousand. this is what i used to get paid to be a retail staff like at some places right for like doing retail for like you know sportswear companies and stuff sometimes you'd get around this so that's 21 000 a year 
people paying my salary I used to get for a year as a retail staff per month. Crazy. Richardson could not be reached at the press. Um, at press time, the current sale we hear is off-market deal with the broker Nick Gavin of Compass who declined to comment. So no comment from him directly, but clearly he's selling some bits and pieces, raising funds and living a somewhat quasi-quiet life. But yeah, Terry Richardson got completely cancelled and it was done for him and he hasn't come back since. Alexander Wang legitimately spiked, you know, up and coming models and scenesters and socialized people drinks and got very handsy and then out, you know, out or cool or whatever, settled with them. Allegedly, who knows, don't sue me. And he's perfectly fine to be out there again with his work featured on fucking Vogue Runway. But Terry Richardson, who no charges, I don't think were come were brought to him really did he, well, if i'm not mistaken no actual criminal record charges or anything and he completely gets cancelled that's really interesting how random these kind of cancellations are they're very random they're very picky and choosy but hey i just wondered where he was i got the answer terry Chisholm is out there selling his home raising money and living his life and from what i've seen from his instagram he's gone completely quiet completely radio quiet because this is instagram here um, 900,000 followers, 907 to be exact. The last post he uploaded, which is this picture here, was in 2018. Wild, isn't it? 2018 was his last Instagram upload, more than 247 weeks ago. People are even saying in the comments, Terry Forever, checking in for you, okay, 13 hours ago. But yeah, he hasn't been seen in a while. So, you know, these fashion cancellations are very random. They're very selective. They don't make any sense for the most part. And I guess it just is what it bloody